Next in the tank is a company seeking to help college athletes maximize their potential. What's up, Sharks? My name is Hunter, alongside my partners Jason, Austin, and Charles. We're here today seeking $650,000 in exchange for 5% of our company. Wow. Wow. Having been a D1 college basketball player and playing for the NBA, I've witnessed the many challenges that athletes experience by not being able to monetize their brand. Charles and I would regularly walk by the campus bookstore and see jerseys with his number selling on them, and not a penny went to him. As you all can imagine, this really pissed us off. So Sharks, that's why we decided to take matters into our own hands. Before you knew it, the player Strunk was born as a platform for former and current collegiate athletes to monetize their brand by selling player-owned, team-issued, and game-worn gear. Customers go to our site, search for their favorite college or athlete, and find the gear in each player's collection. In our first 12 months of business, we have over 800 athletes on our platform. Additionally, in the first two months of the name, image, and likeness period, brand new to college sports, we have signed up dozens of athletes to the platform. We've put in the work, and we know how to grind but we would love it if you would join our hustle. So let, let me jump in just so everybody understands what's going on here, right? So when they talk about NIL or name, image, name, or image likeness, likeness, that's a brand new role. Yeah. So up until this past year, college athletes couldn't get paid, amateur athletes couldn't get paid at all. Somebody sued and that led to all the rules being changed. It's about so, time. Wow. So now, so now every college athlete Has is allowed to, to sell their name, image, and likeness and start to make money. And some of them are really getting paid. But there's a lot of competition in this space, right? Mm -hmm. Because everybody sees it as a gold rush. So what sets you guys apart? What's your secret sauce? So one, it comes down to relationships. We're young, we're 21 to 23 year olds. College kids see the hustle, they see the grind, they can relate to us. And also, especially with the NIL and merchandising, we have licensing deals with 13 of the most prestigious universities. So that's really adds value Any to a of lot of this exclusive? Wow. There's a couple ways we can structure deals with athletes. Some are on an exclusive basis and some are not. But there are also tons of guys and girls who are making a very solid amount of money out of college selling their old team issued gear. Post collegiate opportunities, if they want to sell their jersey, we don't need to pay licensing. This no, year is theirs don't. once they leave. Let's say you got a class A player and he's going to sell his old jersey. What do you get for that? On the vintage stuff, once they're out of school, we're keeping 20% on that. On the custom merch, the t-shirts, the hoodies, the collectibles, the phone cases that we're producing, we're keeping 40% on that. My personal jerseys were selling for north of $1,000. Mm -hmm. That's great. How much did you get of the 1000 he got the whole thing because he's I mean, co-founder co of the company. <laughs> <laughs> How much work are you doing to spread the word, doing the social, pushing people to the site to get them to buy merch? Yeah, the biggest thing for us in terms of customer acquisition has been the athletes promoting on their right, own right. social following, given that... So you're just providing the, the logistics and infrastructure? Exactly. And then once they leave, they can sell their vintage stuff at a much higher price? Exactly. Once okay, their eligibility it. is completely exhausted. So, I'm looking at this deal, so 5%, 650,000, $13 million valuation. What are your sales? <laughs> yeah, so we started the company just over a year ago, and since that time, we've done $1.3 million in Whoa. sales. Good for you wow. guys. How much have you made Thanks. on that? Uh, 200,000 we've made on that. Our wow. senior year, we ran this and the $1.3 million in sales in our dorm room in college. So now that we actually feel that we have the opportunity to go on these college campuses, interact with the student athletes, face to face is always better to get deals done. Like we feel like the sky's the limit. All right guys, look, the big behemoth in your space for merchandise is a public company. It trades at a 20 multiple. Okay. On this 200,000 that you're making, that would make you worth if you were public and equivalent to them, which you're not, because they're so much bigger than you, you'd be worth four million. Instead, you're telling me I gotta pay 10 times your sales. 650,000, 5%, 13 million dollars. That's nuts, so you get 1.3 million in sales. Your valuation's crazy. I mean, it's I, you, you're good guys, but who told you to walk in here with that valuation? Do you because guys right have now, other I think it's investors? Have you raised money so Yeah, far? so yes. this, we raised around a few months ago. It valued the company at $10 million, so again, coming in at 13, we have- well, What was that deal specifically? So we, we raised money at a, at a $10 million valuation. Um, we raised $1.25 million. From whom? From a very credible established venture capitalist firm in Chicago that among others are backers of Cameo and other large marketplaces out there. But they're not sharks. 
I think that's a crazy valuation. Now look, maybe they're putting other people's money to work. This is my money, okay? My money. I don't do stupid deals. This oh, deal is stupid. Is what he is. Guys, guys, I'm out. At at five percent, it's it's tough. Not worth it, right? It's yeah. that's extremely tough. You know, for something like this to happen, there has to be a major upside in return. So, uh, you know, me and Mark were talking. I'm willing to make an offer, but you know, you you might not like it. You know, you're asking us to give money, but you need us to go work for you. You right? need our legs. And so, while venture capital money is great, Mark Cuban money and Kevin Hart money and name is a whole lot greater. It's a different ball game. So uh, go ahead, Kevin. We're asking for thirty percent. Right. So six hundred fifty k that you asked for for thirty percent. That's a rich deal. It is and it isn't. So there's no amount of money that you could pay otherwise to get an NBA owner and one of the biggest stars in the universe to add credibility to your company. And what I always say, look, 70% of a watermelon is a whole oh. lot better than 95% uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. of a grape. Hey guys, guys I'm going to this deal officially on out bucks. because I want to just give you some advice. Why don't you make your deal contingent on them actually delivering we don't those do stars to you, guys. not hearsay. Frankly, I don't think you're worth anywhere near Okay. 10 million bucks. I think you're actually worth about 2.1 million. Laura, are you going to make an offer? What are you going to do? Well, listen, um, I don't think that this is the right business or valuation for me. <laughs> so for those reasons, I'm out. But you have a deal from Mark and from Kevin Hart. Are you going to counter them or what's going on in your head? There yeah. is no counter, guys. I don't guys. understand the, the reservation here. Yeah, I, guys, you got to make a decision. Look, I, I don't think, you know, there are better strategically aligned partners than, than you guys. I think that for, from our standpoint, to come down, you know, to that valuation, no matter who it's with, it's just not in our best interest right now. That's I, fair enough. I realize fair. that you guys could bring in star athletes. You have the star power. I, I think that our counter offer would probably be $750,000 for 7.5%. No. Which wow. is understandable. Uh, I think that it's just for us, it's not yeah, smart to go well, below that seat. I, I, I love that you are staying true to what you believe in, as you should. That was our offer. Um, you know, if it's not taken, then we're out. Yeah, we're out. Guys, I also respected you until you turned that offer down. Now I think you're bozos. Thanks, guys. Thank Good luck. Thank you, guys. We appreciate it. Good luck. Thanks, guys. Ciao. Yeah. When their friends see this and they said, you turned down Mark and Kevin? I don't understand that. They're, they're going to be they like, They only made $200,000. I get pitched this exact same thing all the time. Yeah. So there are no barriers to entry. To have us together yeah. is strong. Oh, they, my God. They, they missed that opportunity. I think for us, it's no regrets at all. I'm proud of, proud of the guys and, you know, proud that we stuck to our guns and, you know, walked away from that deal.